Okay, let's talk about proof of funds. What's acceptable and what is not for a bank foreclosure offer? Now, you might ask, why is this important? Well, recently I've had just a huge amount of offers on these cheaper REO properties where the letters and the proof of funds just aren't acceptable. And there's only two main things you need. And today, I'm going to show you examples of what works, what doesn't work, and hopefully you'll have a better understanding of exactly how simple it is, but what you need to have your offer accepted immediately with a solid proof of funds. One note I want to make, you got to remember, every REO offer has to have a POF uploaded and submitted with the offer. No REO agent can submit an offer without it. It's a must. doesn't matter if it's a foreclosure or not. You really should be attaching them and submitting them with any offer, with any offer in, in real estate. Um, most of the offers I receive don't have anything, uh, but you really need to attach that. Anyway, just remember it's critical. And what's happening is that buyers are losing out on properties because their letters, their proof of funds, their print offs, it's not acceptable. And today you're going to learn why. And let's make this really simple. A POF, all it is is a bank statement or a financial account statement showing you have the means to purchase. The buyer has the means to purchase. In the corporate world, cash is liquid funds only. That's the definition of cash to them. It is cash. You can go to the bank and, you know, get it immediately. All foreclosures are going to require a POF if the buyer is paying cash. Um, so many times I'll get a contract without the POF, then, you know, it'll be sent a day later or whenever they get, get it. You got to remember, and I'm going to show you a good example. We cannot submit the offers without the POF. The system blocks us. It won't allow us to. Here's where we have to have the proof of funds or the pre-qualification letter with the offers because I can never submit the offers. There's no corporate system in, um, platform, which they're almost all done on platforms nowadays, websites. None of them will allow us to upload the contract without attaching the um, pre or the proof of funds. Um, and also, side note, buyers and agents, please get them in a PDF format. There's no system in the world we have that allow us to up, uh, upload a JPEG format. Um, it's just something else I have to do is change it to a PDF to get it uploaded for you. Now, like I said, you can't just throw anything and they're going to accept it. So I'm going to show you some examples of some ones that work and ones that don't work but remember everyone that gets accepted or is acceptable has these two things this must be on your pof it must be in the same name as the buyer and you'll be surprised a lot of them aren't a lot of us do because of llc's and not getting the documentation you know supplied to us that we need to give the seller and it's got to be dated it has to have a date on it within 30 days those two things if you have those two things on it then You've done your job. If the seller won't accept that and they want a signature, well, you, you know, you might not know that, but if you cover these two things, you're going to be golden. And here's an example from a client email, exactly what I'm talking about. So this is verbatim from an asset manager of what they want in their POF because I'll show you an example of what, you know, I received. And this is the one that did have a different name on it. And this is the second one I received. So basically... I'm asking him to get clarification on exactly, so I have it in writing, really, what he wants and how he wants to handle it. And you can see there at the bottom, you know, he's asking me next, well, did you input the offer? And I'm thinking, well, of course not. I mean, you know, heck no. I've already been told not to. And you can see his response. I don't want to see the offer without the good POF, you know. Uh, so this is that actual letter that I received or the statement. Um, and simply, it's not dated, so the seller can't tell when this came from. And the names didn't match the contract, so they rejected it. Okay, this is an example of one that was approved, that's perfect. It's got the name that matches the contract, and it was within 30 days. So this is all it takes, folks, right here. Here's another one that was rejected because it was in... The POF was in the wife's name only, or the only proof on this statement showed her name only. It didn't show the husband's name, but the contract was in the husband's name. So this POF is not acceptable. And this is right here, probably what I get more than often, is screenshots 
in JPEG formats in a picture format of the buyer's account. Now if you look at both of these two different examples, nowhere on here is there a way for the seller to tell who this belongs to. <laughs> There's no names on this. They're never going to accept this. So when you think about or you get this from your buyers, just remember you're going to need it in a different format. This will not work. Uh, and if you're a buyer, don't do this because all you're doing is you know adding on to the process, the timeline. So screenshots of your account do not work. Now this is a good example of just a good letter from a bank. Um, this is perfect. These are easy, um, you know, great. If you're an investor and you're buying a lot of properties, you should have one updated every 30 days and have it sitting there ready. I mean, because this is just what, you know, as long as everything matches up, perfect. All the banks will accept these. Here's another, ex you know, another example. Um, these are actually signed. I covered up the signature because, you know, who it is doesn't matter, but they're actually signed, they're dated, and they, you know, are on bank letterhead perfect 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 letter okay so here's another thing real quick i wanted to kind of give some tips on hard money offers um every hard money offer i've ever received is always flagged as cash well there's not a corporate seller out there that considers hard money loans cash offers okay it's not a big deal um in the sense where you know if you're writing a contract whatever checking cash compared to you know financing but hard money loans are not cash. They're not considered cash. Um, remember what we said earlier, cash is liquid funds. Hard money loans always have something subject to, always. And here's two good examples of two different major, you know, lenders in their letters. And this is why. But notice, home investors, subject to, subject to, same thing. Lending home, conditional approval will be provided, subject to. This is not cash, but it, is it better than a typical financing offer? Well, yeah, especially on a fixer upper because most, if this is the best offer the seller gets and this is the only way it's going to go, most of them are going to take it. Um, there's some that might not, but most of them will take it. It's just not cash and this is the reasons why. All right, guys, I hope you appreciated the quick little video. Hopefully it helped. Just remember key things you need to do just keep it within 30 days and keep it in the same name if it's not if it's funds from the llc from a company that the, you know that the buyer owns or vice versa just submit the documentation the llc docs you're gonna need them anyway um but submit something to prove that's the situation and you're good to go all right guys if you like the video hit the like button if you have any comments or questions please hit me up and please subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos coming soon Thanks, guys.